Welcome to the Roland Pro AV VR1 HD AV Mixer Tutorial on USB Streaming. My name is Justin and in this video we will show you how to choose the right cable for USB Streaming, the USB menu settings, how to connect to the free VR capture software for recording, and connecting to a streaming service using your web browser. First, make sure that you're using a USB 3.0 cable. Here you can see that I'm holding a USB 3 and a USB 2 cable. If I was to plug this USB 2.0 cable into the back of the VR1 HD, you'll see that it does not take up the entire port. The USB 3.0 cable has sufficient bandwidth for HD video, so you'll need to use that, as well as with a USB 3.0 port on your computer. Next, let's go over the USB menu settings. Press the menu button, and then go to video output. Here, where it says USB format, you can set the resolution for the USB video going out independently of the HDMI output. You can also go into the USB stream menu where you can note the status of the connection. The connection status is important for troubleshooting. If it says high speed, it means that your connection is not fast enough and you may need to do some troubleshooting with the connection to the computer. Try unplugging the cable from the computer and plugging it back in and see if it then reads the super speed. If not, it might not be a USB 3 port. In the menu, you can change the zoom size of the video, as well as the scaling type, and make further positioning adjustments to the output video. For additional troubleshooting, you can use the connection reset function and see if that helps improve the connection. Next, I will show you how to connect to our free VR capture software, which allows you to record the USB outputs, audio, and video to a file on your computer. In the VR capture window, first choose your video source from the drop down menu. Then choose your audio source. You'll see the video appear as well as the meters moving. You can also choose a different resolution for the recording if you want to record in, say, 720p. And if you're on a Mac, you can also record to ProRes in addition to H.264. Here you can set the file name and the location for the recording. You can also click here to open Finder and choose a different location for the video file. Once you're ready to record, just click the gray record button and it will turn red. When you finish recording, just press the stop button and the file will now be on your computer. Last, we'll go over how to connect to a streaming service. And the easiest way to do this is via your web browser. Note that not all streaming services are compatible with this method. Some may require you to convert the signal to RTMP using third-party software or hardware. To set up the live stream in a browser, go to that service's website, create a new live post, and choose the VR1 HD's video and audio as a webcam source. Once connected, you'll be able to automatically stream the VR1 HD's output as if it were a webcam. Thank you for watching this video on the VR1 HD. For more information and additional support, please visit the ProAV website and be sure to check out the product knowledge base.